All right, I have a question. If golf was invented today with the fast greens and so on, do you think you would still be putting the conventional way? Or you would be facing your target and putting because the speed on those greens are so fast, it's like putting on a billiard table. It's all about being precise. You don't need to hit it hard to get it to the hole. When you look at the older videos and you see them using their wrists when they were putting, well, they were putting on shag. The greens were not manicure and fast, so you had to pop it and you had to have a little bit of power to get it to the hole. But now, uh, you see them barely touching it and it rolls and rolls and rolls forever. It takes a long time to make a putt to get to the hole. That means the speed is so fast that you don't have to hit it hard because if you hit it hard and you miss it, it's going to keep on going, right? So I don't think that the putting of today should be using the conventional putter. Now I get the question, if it was so good putting side saddle or face on putting, why the pros on tour don't do it? Well, I, I have a few answers for that. One is, the, many, the major manufacturers never did a putter designed for that. So if they don't have that, the, the teaching pros, whoever it is, are still using the conventional putting. That's what they know. <clears throat> That's what they teach. So now let's say you're in the top 1,000 or 2,000 best golfers in the world. So let's take the example of only 1,000. You have one that is the best putter in the top 1,000 in the world, and you have one that is in the 1,000th place in the world. Well, the one who's in 1,000th place in the world and keep putting conventional way, he has to be very, very good. I try to beat somebody that is better than him at the same game. Maybe you need to look at doing something different to beat him at this game. Not necessarily putt conventional way, but maybe try to putt facing the hole. It's been over 15 years I'm selling my putter, and I was a little bit surprised that PGA Tour prayer, some of them extremely good, major uh, winners, never tried it. Approach me, I give them a putter, they tried it. They tried it and they kept on putting the conventional way because they're at the end of their career and they are very good at what they're doing. But at least they had uh, an opportunity to, to look at the GP putter and try it. They never did that before. But the one who is in the top 1,000 in the world and not putting great, so he's not able to, to make it because of his putting, and he keeps on putting conventional way, conventional way. It's hard to beat the best one at, at this game. So you need to change the game, and you need to change how you putt. And once you do that, you will realize that it's pretty simple. Also, if putting is 40% of your score, at the beginning, you don't have to use the GP putter for everything. But inside of 20 feet, the GP putter is deadly because you see the line, you know the speed and the distance for that is fantastic. Maybe your lag putt uh, takes a little bit of practice. So use your regular putter for the lag putt. Who cares? If you have two putters and you're beating everybody else at putting, it will help you. So now you have, right now you have 13 clubs for 60% of your score and one club for 40. So think about it. If you improve your putting, you could win.